So you want to take shortcuts to taking shortcuts to making gains. Well, you've come to the right place. Bro science, the shortcut to actual science. Now, Juicehead used to be a racial slur for bodybuilders, but now it's a compliment. And the last thing you want to be called is the N-word, natty. So how are you going to look on natty while still being natty? The lifter's paradox. Let's dive in. Also, if you're wondering where I've been, uh, this time I have a good excuse, like all the other times that I have good excuses. I recently had hernia surgery because it turns out if you do one million sets of curls uh, while shouting at the top of your lungs, you will lift your guts out. But here I am because I am the most dedicated creator on this platform. First up here, super hot topic, tocesterone. Full disclosure here, at first I thought this was turkey steroids. You know, like deer antler spray, or like the steroids they give chickens to make big fat chicken titties. Then I found out it was like plant steroids for insects or some shit. I don't fucking know. I don't give a shit where my gains come from, all right? I mean, I'll fucking boof some Beetlejuice with a goddamn turkey baster if it means I'll be jumping weight classes like a fucking mass hopper. I do not give a shit. As long as enough people swear it works for me not to have to research it myself, I'm sold. I could watch a 30 minute more plates more dates video on tocesterone where he uses big words and science to confuse you into believing him or I could watch a 30 second TikTok and use the affiliate code and get 10% off. And if this shit works, that's 110% return on investment in 1 60th the amount of time. That's a 6,600% value. Who's a scientist now, huh? Me, it's always been me to answer that question, which was fucking stupid of me to ask you. Now I know what the haters are gonna say, but Uncle Dom, that's all anecdotal evidence. Where are the studies? I'm glad you asked, because I have here a peer-reviewed study on the effectiveness of tocesterone. What's peer-reviewed mean? Uh, like, a pe like it appears to be reviewed. A peer review. Duh. What you have here is amount of gains made in several different types of groups. We have the placebo group, uh, which I have left blank because it's a placebo and they didn't take anything, so it doesn't count. Not really sure why they use this. Honestly, science is fucking dumb sometimes, man. Next group here is dudes who took tocesterone and started training harder because they really wanted it to be the magic pill that they need. And as you can see, they've experienced a substantial increase in gains from the placebo group. The third group here is dudes who took tocesterone who also have an affiliate code to sell it. And even more surprising yet, you see an increase of almost double the amount of gains as the previous. Astonishing, truly astonishing find. And the last group, uh, dudes who just took regular ass steroids. And as we can see, has experienced the largest increase in gains. And also seems to bleed over into the other two groups. Interesting find here. Wow, really crazy study. So in conclusion, is tocesterone magical natty steroids, or is it just shreds for Gen Z? Yes, in fact. This is an important one, uh, semen retention, okay? Um, now this giant load of science claims that not coming and retaining your semen will result in a boost in testosterone because you are literally filled with testosterone. That's like saying not shitting will make you full of shit, which is technically true and therefore both full and not thus full of shit. So let's take a look at the data, shall we? Uh, right here we have figure 1.1, which is a massive fucking dong bursting at the seams with testosterone. That's a cork, and these are, these are shaking lines to show it's just vibrating with fucking test. Um, I don't know why the balls look like the tailfish of a goldfish cracker, but you know, I, I did this bitch in first try, so you know, you get what you get. Okay, so you know, let's just get into the rest of the data here, all right? Okay, well that's not it. That's actually just, um, these are a bunch of practice penises I drew uh, that didn't make the cut. Um, I don't think that wasn't what we are supposed to see. Um, there are only two sides to this. Am I missing something? In a mission. Here we have a chart displaying time spent not nutting versus test levels. Okay, now as you can see, the more time you spend not nutting, the higher your test levels, okay? 
Then you see a spike in testosterone the moment you nut, followed by post nut clarity and then depression and a sharp decline in testosterone. And then the cycle begins again. And since you're refusing to do the only cycle that matters, you might as well break this one too. Once upon a time, you were a scrawny virgin who wanted to get big so you can get laid. And now here you are, a steaming pile of body dysmorphia with an explore page filled with shirtless dudes hoping the big guy at the gym notices your thighs. And you're thinking to yourself, maybe if I get big enough, I'll never have to get laid. You are retaining your virginity and rebranding it as semen retention. It's a clever marketing hack. You're not an unfuckable gym troll. You're a disciplined meat monk. You're not unattractive to women. You're unattracted to women. A wise man once said, I don't need sex. I make love to myself every day at the gym. That was me. I said that. I don't need to fill the void with sex because I am the void and I fill it with myself. But why stop there? If filling yourself with cum will boost your testosterone, why not fill yourself with even more cum? The gym is already filled with male body obsessed test tubes. Are you going to let them have more tests than you? No way. Fuck them. Literally, fuck them. Take the test from them. And now a word from our sponsor, Roman. You take pre-workout for the gym, right? Do you need it? Maybe not. But is it going to give you thicker, juicier, longer lasting pumps so you can bang weights harder than 2011 dubstep? Damn straight. So why not take pre-workout for the most important muscle in your body? Your brain. Now thanks to Roman, you can get effective FDA approved ED treatment starting at $2 a dose. Based on the average sexual activity of a gym rat, that's like $4 a year. Roman is a digital health clinic for men that uses US licensed medical professionals that can prescribe you treatments based on your evaluation. And thanks to the convenience of the Roman platform, you don't have to look another human in the eyes and explain why you got the dick yips. So go to GetRoman.com slash BroScience to start your online visit for $15 off your first month of treatment, if prescribed. Psalms. Psalms are the my first toolkit of steroids. Taking Psalms is like smoking candy cigarettes because you want to be cool, but you're not old enough for the real thing and not cool enough to die for it. And then you end up eating too many and getting diabetes and none of the coolness. Listen, cigarettes are cool because they'll fucking kill you. It's the sacrifice that makes them effective. Same goes for steroids. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Now, Psalms are pretty well known. But what most people don't know is that SOMS actually stands for steroids are really much sicker. SOM goblins will claim that SOMS are legal steroids with no side effects. Do they have no side effects or do they just have no effects? And they're legal because they're classified as research chemicals. But I don't want to research chemicals. I just want to take them. If I have to research them, I might find out they don't work and I desperately need them to work. So the best course of action is to take a shitload of SOMs days after you hit puberty and find out. And then the next thing you know, these legal safe steroids are tanking your tests like you're failing out of high school, which you are. And then they'll be like, nah, it's okay. I'll just take some PCT and I'll be fine. What you need to do is take the ACT and go to fucking college and get a degree and manning the fuck up and taking real steroids. And speaking of being legally safe, I feel like now is a good time for me to express this disclaimer that um, none of this is medical advice and is purely for entertainment. Or you could take the righteous path and be natty. People who stay natty think they are better than you because they're committed to being worse than you. They think they're walking the righteous path, but it's easy to say you didn't take shortcuts when you didn't go anywhere. It's like people who shit on rich people because they think it's honorable to be broke. Tax the jacked. Look, it's not my fault you're not willing to give it 100% to be in the 1%. You throw around this word natural, but nature is all about survival of the fittest. So how are you going to select to be natural if natural selection won't even select you? So when you think about it, taking steroids is the most natural thing you can do. And lastly, the most effective alternative to taking steroids 
lie. All the benefits of taking steroids with none of the side effects of not taking steroids. With this one simple trick, you can now claim to be genetically and morally superior without having to be either. Science is all about asking questions, and lying is all about answering them. Remember, it's only a lie if they know the truth. And if they knew the truth, they wouldn't be asking questions. And just like that, I beat science. Bro science! Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. New videos, every word I say is a lie, including that sentence, which means I am always honest. And if we're being honest, you should go to DonMerch.com and get the new OBGYM shirt, along with all these other classics. And make sure to follow me on Instagram, at Don Mazzetti, fucking guy at Mike Tornabeni, whoever the fuck he is, so I can get my cloud up and get my DS at Coachella this year. We back, baby. If, you know, the world is still here. Seems like this is a recurring theme every time I make videos. Is there a correlation? Should I stop? Find out next week.